Lovely. <laughs> uh, not only was it human, but it was rotten human. Okay, you cannot say that it being human had anything to do with your distaste for it. You make soup uh, literally out of an entire dude. <laughs> Fair enough. And the door's open again. The door closed and opened. Where's my jump scare? Ah! Ah! So I was running back to the ship and I saw that thing. <laughs> um, I thought you might have been dead. I couldn't answer straight away because these are the things that hear you. So we should probably stop talking, otherwise it's never gonna go away. Oh, look at them. Look at the scanner. Look where it is. A bubble. Wait, Cole's out there. Cole's out there. Oh no. Ah! GG crewmates! I actually don't know how we got away with that. What the fuck? Ah! Uh, what? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Puffy, Puffy, wait, what? Puffy, Puffy wait, how are you the jester? Puffy had no idea Puffy was the jester. That's <laughs> 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 Six people with paranoia there. That was cool. Oh, oh. One enemy remaining. It's okay. It's all good. Look, there's one guy left. All right. Okay. okay. Have it for everybody once we are ready to start the actual. I just tried to smoke my vape upside down. <laughs> good That's job. Good. It's oh, all right. You definitely need more. <laughs> <laughs> Not every quest starts with the tavern fight. This one's actually a little more somber and uh, depressing, if anything. <laughs> Salutations, everyone! My name is Big Dog Gaming, and today we are back again with some more D&D. 
Um, we are in, I believe, chapter two. Um, and the DM is just about to give us, like, full recap of what happened. Um, I wasn't here last week. No. It was, I think it was a text-based thing throughout the entire week, and then I wasn't here the week prior. So, yeah. But, anyways, without further ado, let's, let's do the thing. The ones that are created by D&D Beyond, or I guess mm. by Wizards of the Coast, but... All right, I'm ready when you are. Excellent. All right, good evening, everybody. It is Hi. time again. Good evening, DM. Good evening. Thank you. All right, so Maybe as you transition. can tell, uh, you guys are currently back in the Midnight Tavern. Uh, the last time we had a live session, you had just killed Fibicrook, chased off the remaining Favlin and Knifewings. You had saved three out of the five children, uh, Sarah, Roman, and Gil. Uh, you guys had set out towards the village in the early morning, ran into some Favlin and some Knifewings, took care of them rather easily, and got yourself back to the tavern. So, while you were at the tavern, you presented the children to Elias, and he thanked you for finding them, but he had a question of where Eli was. And the party had told Eli, or told Elias, that e but Eli and Arwen had both passed away, and, but you had brought their skulls with you as proof. And you had handed both of those skulls to Elias. Elias, while taken aback at first, regained his composure and thanked you for returning his son Eli as well as Arwen. So, after the well, after you learned that Eli was his son, a prayer was made to the gods, and Elias prepared a small pyre for the remains of Arwen and Eli. So just to kind of get through things a little bit quickly and to kind of move things along, I want to let the party know that, yes, you've leveled up to level two. Um, if you hadn't done so already, the townsfolk have come and they have both claimed your their children back and even though there's not really a like mayor or anything elias kind of like acts as the uh, head of this village and you both received your payment in full because you did in essence bring back all of the children so as you do return back to the town as heroes the uh, main person Elias wants to reward you by asking the party to name the town. He would like you to name the town after your group name. And he asked you, fine heroes, how would you like to name, or what would you like to name this town? And I will leave this open to anybody who would like to to discuss or leave it leave it up to the party to discuss how would you like to name this town uh generally raises the tail yeah we go for it uh, now <laughs> i don't know about you <laughs> but when he uh, pulls out his little friend from his uh little sash half asleep I say we name it this. <laughs> and Maybe what pray tell it? is that? That would be to toast. Toast. My boy. <laughs> toast Bill. He, he pets toast. 
Toast, a very oh. interesting name, but how does everybody else feel? Fucking love it. <clears throat> I mean, pretty on board. <laughs> the village of Toast. I mean, I guess we could live with that. You are, after all, the heroes of this village. Yes. <laughs> Bit of Toast. Is there any other names that you would wish to go by? If not, <laughs> we will name this village Toast. So it might be it. more, even though it might be uh, a bit ominous. <laughs> he looks um, around. It's on par. Survivor's <laughs> Point has a good ring to it. Survivor's Ooh. Point. <clears throat> Hyphen Toast. <laughs> Survivor's guilt. Survivor's toast. Survivor's <laughs> toast. <laughs> that that actually is pretty good. <laughs> that sounds like something that the tavern could offer. Toasters survive. Fucking toast becomes staple town. Toast a village will probably become a staple in this town. Yes. <laughs> I imagine this flag <laughs> being like, you know, I... put up is the picture with toast on it. Tessie says, <laughs> I hate to point out the obvious, but survivors aren't entirely accurate to the people of this village. <laughs> well, I breaking mean... point. What? Breaking point. Okay. <laughs> Toasting <All right>. point. <laughs> mm. I like the breaking point. toes. <laughs> breaking oh. toes. <laughs> that kind of goes hard. Yes. All right. <laughs> so for this, we're gonna we will we're gonna do a roll off. How about that? Okay. So okay, roll you off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm what? That really quiet. <laughs> Uh, you know, we start. should make a cult and have toast be the <laughs> the thing that we worship. I already <laughs> worship toast, so I'm the toast right. cult. The, to the cult of cult of toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, I have some dreadful news. Like some very serious right, stuff. So, so if you need to walk away, I would completely. I'm just making this is that here. you are there's nothing you can do about it. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! I think I need to walk away for a you moment. You need to get a flag bearer just to have a toast, like a flag with toast on it. Actually, dude. Walk away from kind of banner I need a drink. Because I'm a thirsty with. doggo. <laughs> well, that could be arranged. Post hollow. Damn. That is good. Post hollow. <laughs> we'll, all right. So one to four is going to be, I'm going to have somebody roll a D20. Uh, one to four will be toast or some variant of toast. Five to nine will be survivor's point. 10 to 14 will be survivor's guilt. Uh, 15 to 20 essentially will be breaking point. I got it. Ooh. I'll roll it. All right. You want to roll me? Roll low, dude. That is 11. So that is going to be the town of Survivor's Guilt. All right. All right. That is your town's name. The dice Billy have spoken. Hand again. Dice of God well, have on. spoken. Hold on. Let's, uh, we want to, you said one to what? Was what? the low one? One to four. So one to one four to was four. toast. Five to nine survivors point, or I guess five to ten survivors point. Eleven <laughs> to fifteen. Fourteen <laughs> survivors guilt. Fifteen to twenty would be um what was it? <laughs> breaking point. So survivors guilt. Survivors guild. We can make it survivors guild if you want. 
I mean, Survivor. technically, you came up with the name, so Survivor's, Survivor's Guild, Guild of Toast. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course. How about Survivor's Guild hyphen Toast? Yes, I love it. <laughs> and we'll just... Toast. Toast Survivor's Guild. Toast Survivor's <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm back. Toast is still going to be a shout of this tavern. Yes, of course. That it will be your morning breakfast oh, yeah. and afternoon lunch is just toast. <laughs> Plain toast. No no butter, nothing on it. Just has have jam on it. Has has toast. jelly on it. <laughs> Speaking of toast. I didn't get that before. Have you toast guys. And jelly. Oh my God. Have you guys ever had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? With toasted bread? Yes. yes. I had yeah. never had that before until I moved out here. And oh my god, it is the most changer. delicious thing I have ever had. Like, it just it feels like a completely different meal. Like, <laughs> I don't... I get this. Wait, get Mind this. blown. Have you ever made French toast? Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah, that's I know where you're going with that. I don't like French toast. <gasps> oh, there is one breakfast meal aside from like pre-made breakfast meals that I like. My favorite breakfast meal is chocolate chip and M M&M and M pancakes with syrup and whipped cream. Yum. Goes hard. Posh. Bad. Very what were you going to say, Binks? <laughs> I don't even remember. Something about toasted, <laughs> toasted sandwiches. Oh, toasted the ADHD is going hard it's tonight. Wild. In this it's wild. Chat. <laughs> All right. To refocus. Yes. So the town's name is now Survivor's Guilt. But we'll also do a hyphen in there for toast. <laughs> Y'all can call it toast for sure. Uh, <laughs> All right. Now, with the naming of the town out of the way, Elias invites the Avengers to rest <laughs> up and prepare for tomorrow as he has some news and you know another request he would like to ask of the party. So everybody goes through a long rest. If you were lacking hit points, go ahead and get those back. Get your spell slots back. All that fun stuff. You're healed, hmm. Mama. Y'all are healed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Snooze, snooze, all better. <laughs> so in the morning, <laughs> Elias has toast ready for each of you who wants oh. it, and those who don't can go eat bugs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for those who need it. <laughs> <laughs> so with you all rested and with your bellies full Elias gets into his next request he says while you were away saving the children there was a messenger that came from another small town or village it's called Farin's Rest it's about maybe half a day's journey so really not far and we received a request for somebody to investigate or in this case a, a group to investigate because things seem off the, the mayor of the town who Normally, I've been told, is a joyous man and who is very kind and giving, has been acting strangely. And he's there's been talk of a very harsh hat that has been what that has been slowly being implemented into the town. Now, this tax originally came out with the founder of the town, Farin, which is why the town was called Farin's Rest. And it required 
the majority of food and resources be sent to that mayor at the time with the founder. And eventually that was his downfall. But I would like to call upon you adventurers to investigate what's going on. You can find a, I would say, acquaintance of mine. Uh, she is another tavern keeper. Her name is Betha Matildas. And you'll find her in the Outrageous Pig, uh, which is the only tavern in that small town. But if you are willing to investigate, I'm sure, well, the town has promised to pay a lump sum of 50 gold to the party to if you can figure out what's going on and and i don't know if you know i can't really tell if there's really going to be any anything really wrong but i would like to send you guys just to be sure and i mean 50 gold is nothing to just kind of take lightly i would like to send you guys out there to really see if there's something going on or if the mayor has just taken a, a turn and you know to see if he just really has changed or what may have come over him but would you party I, i'm not sure who would like to take the lead on this but would you be willing to grant this request yeah I think I speak for all of us when I say woof. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well Amen. All right. Um, what was <laughs> the name of that um, tavern that we're looking for? So the tavern you'll be going to, or at least to speak with for a little more detail, would be the Outrageous Pig. Uh, the bar key, or the innkeep and tavern keep is Betha Matildas. And she's a good friend and acquaintance of mine. <laughs> she'll she'll help you, help you guys along your way. And I'll put it in the chat for y'all, so you don't have to worry about spelling. There you go. All right. Cool. But with that out of the way, I would like you guys to leave right away. Are you kicking us out? I am kicking right. you out. Oh, I, okay. I haven't go. even Let's finished go. eating yet. But right, before I... before we took off, um, you you seem like a, a very knowledgeable person, Elias. It's someone who knows lots of things uh, about a lot of random uh, items. Oh. Um, would you would you know anything about a particularly arcane? Uh, imdubed skull that was uh, around these parts. Well, I can certainly take a look, and if you let me see what it looks like, and maybe let me appraise it a little bit, I might be able to figure out a little more information for you. Who uh, who grabbed the skull? Was it? I Lord? have the skull. Yes, of, of coercion. Yes, Skull of Cohesion. Skull of Cohesion. Cohesion. By the way. Yeah, Cohesion. <laughs> it's not a. <laughs> say it's it's not a. Uh... Cohesion. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'll let him look at that while we're out traveling. All right. Yeah. I'll say. Uh, by the time you get back, I should have a little more information. I can. I can ask. Uh. If I. I mean, honestly, I don't have a whole lot to go off of here, but if you do leave it with me, I can leave... Well, I can, I can ask travelers and other merchants while you're gone to see if I can find more information. If we you make just, it back. You just, you just uh, <laughs> struck me as a, a uh, someone who might be learned in these arts. So I figured you might know something. Well, I am very skilled in, in many things. And uh, a particular skull will take me some time to uh, figure out, but judging by the goo that seems to be coming from it, I can tell that there is more than meets the eye, but I am happy to, to review it, appraise it, and have more information for you about it by the time you get back from your next adventure. 
and hopefully it is something that will be useful to someone or the party as a whole. Autobots, Beautiful. roll out. All right. Oh, Autobots. <laughs> is there any more toast? Toast company, move out. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's go. So. Do we have a, like, a minivan? Are we walking or... <laughs> the mystery machine? Yeah. A, mis a mystery wagon? <laughs> yeah. Take Pull the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let me go ahead. I'm going to pause things for a second and move us to our next map. I just want to make sure that... Oh. Hold on. I'm just making sure that everything loads. One moment. That's wholesome. And I'm going to answer a question. Host and friends. Oh my god. All right. I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to go and ahead. Died? Oh. Oh. Well, that well, makes more sense. If your pen dies, you have to get another one. You know, mm -hmm. when you're taking frivolous notes. Right? I was thinking, like, computer pen and i was like what <laughs> me too when he said died it sounded electronic it ran <laughs> out of ink it's out of blood it's like okay all right if you must know it's a fancy fountain pen and the ink oh yeah just <laughs> uh it, it hasn't been used for two weeks and so it kind of just ran out Did you, you know it's okay tip? No. I mean, that I mean, usually yeah. does it for me, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, when, I, when I said that I they mean, like, ran out, it, like, literally ran out. Like, there's no ink in there anymore. Right. Well, I mean, that, that, that's fair. I have a, a fancy pen as well that has, like, ink cartridges that I can replace in them. Nice. Yeah, I can do that, too, but most of my uh, ink got Put in a box. Which is in a box. That is sad. Yeah. I don't want Moving to on. put in a box. I'll okay, put Tanuki so in a box. I'll put you in a box. <laughs> <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> we'll make sure that it can open from both sides. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let me go ahead and resume the session here for everybody. And we'll start into the next little bit. They're fancy. They got guards. All right. So, you so after about a half a day or so, you'll stroll into the small town called Farron's Rest. No one answered you me. How did we get there? I want to know. Well, what? it's a half a day's walk. It's... It was, oh, we walked. Okay. Yeah, it was just a walk. Okay. Well, half a day's journey. Nothing too stressful. Uh, nothing that you all require a uh, horse and buggy for or anything quite yet. We threw okay. a couple of you on a sled and gave shoulder straps to <laughs> Yamashi, and he pulled you, little nice. little leg people. <laughs> oh. and the rest of us walked. <laughs> My mom used to have just a mobile mushroom shoulder, to be honest. And my dad used to pull it wherever they needed to go. <clears throat> Damn. I love it. All right. So as we are getting in, let me give you a little bit of information. Yay. So the party finds itself in Baron's Rest. You can see that there are multiple buildings. Um, mostly just houses and some shops you do find to the towards the bottom of town that there is a building with a pig's head on a well the sign that has a pig's head on it and you can assume that would be the outrageous pig and next to the outrageous pig you can gather that there's going to be a stable of sorts and you know the, the buildings next to it 
are presumably, you know, shops as well. But with the party coming in through the front door, a matronly woman greets you and invites you to come and sit down. And this person you can guess is probably Bertha Mathildis, a, a somewhat portly woman who is constantly busy. And she says, come in, come in. Take a seat. It is evening time. It is time to eat. Uh, time to rest. Please come in. How can I help you adventures this day? Hazel picks up a stool and walks out. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh well, okay. Please be sure to bring the stool back at some point. I, I do only have a limited number of them. <laughs> I don't but, think uh, that's what you meant. I'm going to sip a yeah, like... Oh, welcome. Does, does the name Elias mean anything to you? Yes, Elias. He's a good friend of mine over at the Midnight Tavern. I mean, I haven't seen him in years, but uh, I did send him a notice recently. Are you the adventurers who uh, are, are answering that notice? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, good. Um, well, we are the cult would... of the toast. <laughs> cult, you say? I don't know if I would like to deal with people like you. No, <laughs> it's okay. You don't listen to him. He pulls out a, a huge mouse. A this is our lord and savior. savior. Lord, I do not like rats in my tavern. Please rid yourself of that oh, beast. Oh. I cover. I covered toast ears. <laughs> no, toast. He, he's our leader. He's our group leader. So, I really... ignoring ignoring all of these others. <laughs> what uh, what requests? We we got a little bit from Elias, but pretty much just sent us on our way here. Yes, well, I, I assume Elias. If Elias is sending you, then then obviously he trusts you, and I, I will at least give him that much. So, uh, to kind of let you know a little bit more about, about what's going on, so you know, I assume he told you that you know our our mayor has been acting strangely as of late. Uh, he used to be this nice, uh, kind soul, which is also why you know we we were perfectly pleasantly happy with him being our mayor but as, as of late he seems to have changed not not necessarily f for the better uh, he seems to be a little less welcoming a little less happy and to be frank it's been awful he has been talking about implementing this tax that would have ruined our town a hundred years ago with the founder. But we really don't want that to happen. So if there's really anything going on, I know that there have been strange things happening in the world as of late, and I would like to see and like to know if there is something going on with our, our mayor. Uh, something you should also note is he does have a daughter. Her her name is Rose. Uh, she's a fairly quiet young child, but you know she's innocent enough. You 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 may come across her, but uh, don't be. Uh, let's say try not to be too frightening. I know there are a lot of you, aren't there? Um, but I would like you to all go over and and meet. The mayor just kind of get you get a first impression. Um, she points out across the street. You'll find him in his manor across the street. You see where those guards are. Just let them know you're here to introduce yourself and that you're staying with me here in my tavern. But is there anything else that? everybody would like to anybody would like to do or say well, 
how long ago did the mayor start acting a little bit more strange? Oh, it's it's been going on for at least a fortnight. Yeah, but to be honest, I mean, I don't do daily interactions with the mayor, so I can't say for certain. But I would say it's it's been several weeks, and it just seems to be getting progressively worse. Um, before all this started happening, did you, I mean, you see a lot of the comings and goings of all the folks in the town? Has there been any new arrivals um, that you're not familiar with um, before in the last few weeks? Oh, my dear boy, we get people coming in and out of this town at all hours of the day and night. Uh, it is, I frankly, more unusual if we're completely dead. Uh, and you I would mean, notice that it's stayed. Oh, sorry. I was say you'll you would notice that there, as you were coming down the road, that there were carriages and and people traveling across the main road. So it it's not a complete desolate town or anything. It it's small and quaint, but still is quite visited. Tessie about, says, "Go ahead." What about specifically with the mayor? Uh, for that, I I have no idea, which is also why I would like you to go and introduce yourselves to the mayor uh, to see what the situation is and maybe report back to me to and I can let you know if, if there is anything that might be out of the ordinary. Tessie says, if I may ask, have you noticed if the mayor's daughter has been seen outside less? No, uh, she can be seen quite a bit. Uh, she is usually around the gardens or the fountain of the manor. I mean, she's always been a quiet girl, but now she, she doesn't really seem quite out of the ordinary. Um, <laughs> but, you know, she's, she's just a, a child, but you know how, how children are. They can be a little timid. But to answer your question directly... No, she doesn't really seem to be cooped up in the house too often. She does get out a bit. All right. So I do think that um, not all of us should go. Um, yeah, I was thinking to the mayor. or something. Um, I don't think that... Um, take this with a grain of salt hazel but your temper <laughs> i think you what do you are mean you my temper are you telling me you don't stay <laughs> stay with me I think, i'm good with children I, think, I didn't say the child oh i'm talking about the two guards that are standing out front <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to be a guard. Uh huh. How'd that go for you? A guard dog. It went baby. really well <laughs> until my comrade died in battle. Oh, did your handler pass away? I. <laughs> All right. I don't <laughs> want to talk about this anymore. I vote. I vote that um, Yublek, Durantha, and Rowan go to um talk to the mayor um and then the other handful of us can kind of spread out and see what we can find out i'm okay with that yeah. too short take, people. are we all I think short we should take four one more i think one more should go with us well take, your motion seems jelly. to be mean yeah take 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 jelly he's harmless okay so what is our group our first group is going to be yeblik Sarantha, uh, Rowan and Jelly. Rowan and Jelly. Okay. And what color the rest do you of y'all want to be? The rest of y'all can act, can absolutely you know, investigate the town as well. While those four do other things, you know there there are other things in, to Purple. see and do. Yeah, we can do that. So Sarantha, you have like Rowan, Jelly's going. Mm -hmm. I think we I think we should split up Yamoshi and, and Hazel because they seem to be about to start a brawl. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you instigated that. <laughs> I did not tell him. I was just saying he should stay away from the guards. 
If something, t Tessie says, if something is going on with the mayor, the last thing we need to get answers is to storm the building with our biggest muscles. Absolutely. Correct. That's Thank why you. we're sending all the small people in. That's right. <laughs> and you know, right. Auroric wouldn't be a bad option to send in either. Being all... Just tell me how y'all would like to split your groups up. Are we doing four and five or three? Three. Yeah. What are we doing? What do you think, Auroric? I Let Auroric pick. In. You want to head in? Yeah. Okay. Some clerical spells might be handy yes, yes, if there's uh, something wrong. So. The, 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 the religious there. You've got the monk and you've got so, the cleric. I mean, we're so. Sick. Let me get this straight. Purple is going to check in with the mayor, see what's going on, and black just wander the town. Sure. Yeah. Why not? All right. Start a riot. You can, you can do more. You can do more investigation, or you know. Did you say there Russian were um, stables here? Uh, so Bertha says yes. We do have a stable uh, right next to our inn. And she points to on the map to the general vicinity of of the stable. Um, are there any animals in there at the moment? Any that have been around for the last fortnight? Oh, maybe not that long, but yeah, you know, I'm sure there's a few horses. Uh, we do also have a stable hand. His his name is Merc. Hmm. Uh, he should be tending to the stables as we speak. All right. Um, I, I would like to have a chat with him, see if he's seen anything. Um, Tessie, you can speak with animals, right? Oh, God, Peggy, the, the audio yeah, thing is Yeah, I tried to reset it. <laughs> no, it didn't let work. Let me reset it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Tessie says, I can indeed. All right. Um, While I talk with the stable hand, would you like to, or could you talk with the animals in the stable, see if they've noticed anything, possibly? as you will. It'd be my pleasure. All right. Are we going to head to the mayor's now? All right. Yeah. All right. Let's head over. Yeah, it's kind of tight in here. Let's oh, form a conga okay. line. Since there's going to be two, uh, basically a party split onto two separate maps, we will basically handle it one we'll handle it sequentially. So do we want to do you all want to do the manor first? Or do you want to do the town first? Just because the way the maps work, we can only have one active map at a time. <laughs> I would say we I mean we're gathering the information from the mayor and how that interaction goes, so I'd say we start there. That's okay. my vote. I personally any objections? think we should Stick with the town at the moment since it's already up. Whatever y'all want to do, I have I both. Split one and one. <laughs> Who else can speak at? Um, I think I think Tessie has a question really quick. Um, thought just quickly before we head out, I would like to ask one more thing of Betha. Firstly, to confirm, did you say something about the mayor's daughter liking plants or gardens? And also, do you have a description and name for her? Oh yes, my dear. I I did. Let, I think I briefly mentioned her name. Her name is Rose. Uh, she does like to be out in the garden, or you know, she <laughs> exactly. She's a sweet little child, but she is a bit timid, as I said before. Uh, she hangs in the garden, or you know, around the the various places around the manor, and you know, occasionally she'll venture out into town, but. Uh, 
that's rarely with, without her father. I'm fine either way, whatever interaction you guys want to do. And honestly, we can go back and forth as well. I can just swap between the two maps. Okay. But if y'all would, would like to do that. Whichever way it works, right? All right. Uh, da, da, da. Roll a 20, Peggy. All right. <laughs> one, to ten, one to 10 for the, the manor. And, and 10 to 20 for the town. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right. Give me one second. I'm going to make this so it rolls to everybody. It is a one. Oh. <laughs> uh, All right. So what did we say a one was? Manor. Manor yeah. it is. Okay. So we are going to start heading up to the manor. I, <laughs> so the manor group. <laughs> We're laughing at Tessie's. Thing. Yes, I saw that uh, too. <laughs> so, the guards let you in without problem. It's it's fairly common that adventurers would, you know, just go into the exactly. Cool. So I'm just gonna kind of move everybody. I, Jelly, I'm looking at you. <laughs> uh, just to kind of get Jelly y'all out of the way. I'm just gonna disappear <gasps> all of you. Oof, all right. Been taken. Yep, you have been taken over by me, the dungeon master. All right, so all of you guys are going to be out of the way, so we are going to swap over to the map. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yep, I'm also just going to pause for just a second. I just want to make sure that... Oh, okay, yeah, we are we are good, good, good. All right, now let me populate a couple of tokens here for you guys, since I didn't know beforehand who was going to be here. And Aurora, if I want to be sure. All right, I'm just going to throw you all over here first. Ouch. Y'all can see your characters, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. So, for those who have entered into the estate, you do see off to the right there is a statue within the center of the small pond. And the head is missing. Oh. Uh, but off to the left, you see obviously a, a large manor with, from what you can tell, are two guards out front. How would you like to proceed? Is there flowers near us? Uh, you can see general flowers and uh, flora around. It's It looks like a pretty quaint manor. You know, it's well kept. Do you guys think they'd be offended if I didn't ask first before I picked some? Probably yeah, it's first. Yeah, uh, let's wait. No harm in asking. Like, let's just go talk to the guards, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go talk to the guards. Okay. All right. As you approach the guards, uh, they do briefly halt you and say, I am, what would you like? To, uh, what, what are you guys here for? State your business. We've come to meet the mayor. <laughs> All right. Um, well, the mayor is We're here, here. for the party. <laughs> we brought beer. I mean... be <laughs> no. <laughs> go ahead. We want to go ahead and roll me a deception check. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, let me know what that deception check comes out to be. Nine. A nine. Okay. So with a nine, I will say that I don't see any beer in your beer or ale in your hands. <laughs> now with that, uh, 
you do hear a little bit of oh you hear like a, a voice coming from inside the manor oh just let them in I would like to meet some new potential citizens of far you heard the mass <laughs> you see that the guards lift up their weapons and allow you entrance into the <laughs> manor. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Push them off on the way as they walk by. <laughs> okay, maybe let's not do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me go back to my little hine. Okay, he was good. Okay. So you see as you walk through the into the manor, you see a large human male who introduces himself as Roland Joss, mayor of Farin's Rest. And behind him you see a small girl, maybe no more than seven or eight years old. And he points back, this is my daughter Rose. Uh, say hello. As uh, she looks over towards Sarantha, Rowan, and Yablek in kind of in, in everybody's general direction and just kind of waves her hand and says hello uh, before going behind Roland. Uh, Roland then asks, so what, what brings you here into this fine town? Uh, what can I well. do for you? How you are doing? I'm doing all right. That's great. Is there anything in particular <laughs> I can do for you today? Um, I am a fairly busy person. Uh, you can see we that all the people who forgot what we were coming here to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see the smile. <laughs> you can see the smile on Roland's face fade just slightly as, as he says, I, I am a very busy man, so if you do have business, I would like to hear it. Um, if not, uh, it is late. However, you can find food and ale, as well as a place to rest across the road over at the Outrageous Pig. What you doing? <laughs> yeah, but the party. Are. Oh my! <laughs> what you busy with? I have town business to attend to. You know, raising taxes, building the estate and the town. Things can, to take care of. Can just but... slip out from behind everyone? Real quick. Are you are you trying to do stealthily? Uh <laughs> no, I'm just gonna say actually he wants to say hi. He just wants to slip by us. Yeah. I yeah. gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be I'll be right back. <laughs> oh well Aww. there are a few um outhouses. They are outside of the manor. I don't really care to have you inside at the moment, but uh, yes, uh, across the street you should see a an outhouse out there if you would like. Okay, uh, and Gunner's just gonna walk hopefully out of view right here. Is, is that of you? Or should I walk further? <laughs> uh, you, I'd say go ahead and and make me a stealth check. To oh, see how okay. stealthy you think you are. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's loading. Give it a second. 23. Okay. Hell yeah. So, Pretty you are stealth. practically invisible. <laughs> you turn into a puddle of, of jelly. And, <laughs> and what would I, you like to do while you are stealthy? 
Uh, so my race can transform into a small creature or a small height wise. Uh -huh. And I would like to um, also cast the sky itself because I have the, the feet that just makes me able to do it on whim. Because you are gelatinous. Yes. Mm -hmm. A sentient and, uh, ooze, yes. I would like to uh, transform into just the most inconspicuous animal. That could be, I, I guess, like maybe a squirrel or the <laughs> Beirut equivalent of a squirrel. Uh, I mean, it's a squirrel. You can turn yourself into a squirrel. That's fine. Okay. And I'm just going to go to the nearest window. Ooh. And look, and I guess right. this is the window. This is the window, right? Yeah, that's, that's a window. Okay, I'm going to peek in. All right, so let me give you a little bit of, of a view here. Um, let's see. I, I'd say with... You can see that as you peek in, it just seems to be a normal dining area from what you can tell. Okay. There's nothing inherently suspicious or not suspicious, I should say, about the about what you're looking into. Alright, and uh, none of these windows are bolted down, are they? Oh, actually, I can't even check, or just try to wait. What are you trying to do? Sorry. Uh, I can I can wait, but if this window is like loose, then I need oh. to something. even a crack would do. I want you. You know, we're gonna, we'll do like basically a, a standard luck roll. Okay. If anything, if it's eleven, eleven or above, we'll say you get lucky and the window's unlocked. Okay. Uh, let's go. It'll be just a standard D twenty. So unfortunately, the window does appear to be sealed quite tight. Okay. But you do think that perhaps you might uh, learn a thing or two if you do stay a while. Okay. Is there anything else that anybody would like to try yes. in this party before right, we switch so over? I would like to step forward and, uh, and say... Uh, your people have sent us here due to concerns with the new taxes that you are intending to set up. Is there any reasoning you could give as to why the sudden changes? Well, my boy, you know how government is. Things change over time. Businesses come, businesses go. Uh, sometimes with the seasons. We have times of plenty and times of famine. This just happens to be a time where we need to increase our, our taxes. Now, that being said, I need Rowan, Sarantha, Yeblek, and Aurora to all. Just roll me a d20, please. I meant to do this as soon as you first uh, came through, but I'll, I'll do it now. Jelly, you are... You don't have to roll for... Okay the sake of, of what I need. God, you guys. Why isn't that rolling? Am I spamming the rolls? Possibly. What the hell? It's not coming through. You could always just do the Discord one. Yeah, you there could do go. the Discord one. Thank you. Uh-huh. I think I might have rolled two. <laughs> uh, no. Alright, so Rourke got a 10. Okay. Sarantha's a 13. 
It really is a 33. Good God. Do you want me to roll like 10? Okay. Yeah, it's, I just need one D20. <laughs> we'll go with the 13. <laughs> so we'll when 30. I click on it, when I click uh, on it, it says one, and I don't know what to do from this point. Because oh, last time I clicked down, it again, the bottom, roll for everyone. The bottom, it says roll for everyone. Like I just clicked the roll for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you click on yeah. Cool. There it yeah, is. The more times you click on the dice, the more dice <laughs> you start what rolling. I gonna roll. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, good lord. Okay, 14. That, I'll take it. 33 on a d20 would be a bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, Black, what is Oh, you got a six, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, carry on. Anything else anybody would like to do? I wanted um, to see if hello there. Uh, Rose was willing to give Rowan a tour of the garden area. That's hello what I was going to ask. Hello there, Carly. Oh How are you doing? Rose timidly, uh, Speaks up and says, Well, I certainly can give you a tour of the garden. Uh, however, I would like to wait until morning if we could. Um, it is a bit late and I don't really care to be outside after dark. Um, there are, I mean, it's not like I don't trust you people, but I did just meet you and I'd rather not be alone with you. But if you'd like in the morning, I can show you. Assuming father is okay with it. Roland just smiles and says, of course. Uh, these, this group seems to be trustworthy enough. <laughs> if not, I do have guards that will keep an eye, so nothing to worry about, dear. Oh, goody. Your flowers are so pretty. I'm doing pretty well. Excellent. All right. Anything else anybody would like to do? Otherwise, we'll cut over to our just next. about to start ro role playing yeah, with my group, our other group, which is me, Tessie, um, and two other people. Head. I think. Why would you throw something at me? That's just plain rude. Well, Roland speaks up. There's not much to tell. Uh, we are. Obviously, it's fairly small. However, we have a very brief history. This town has only existed for the last hundred years or so. And before me, there was a mayor called Farron, which is also the namesake of this town. He was not a great man, though he did have some points with his taxes. Ah, but at any rate... I digress. Ah, uh, there, there is not much to this town at this time. I must afraid I must add, but we welcome everybody, and we welcome your business, however you would like to bring it. So, welcome <laughs> at any rate. Thank you. Uh, I don't think this is going to do anything, but. Can I use my Eyes of the Grave ability? What's that do? Uh, it lets me know the location of any undead within 60 feet. Ooh, I like ye. Give me one second here. All right, so even with your senses, you don't get the sense. <laughs> that there are any undead in the vicinity, or at least within your immediate 60-foot vicinity. Uh, all of the people around you tend to uh, seem to just be people. Okay. Seem to just, just be checking. people. <laughs> yeah. They, I mean, they... they... <laughs> Aside from jelly, I guess, but... <laughs> <laughs> mm, all right. Huh. So the other group now? Yes, we are... Okay. Happily switch over to Barnes Rest. Switching so over Varn... to the animals. That's right. And so others. <laughs> Varnes, Tess, Yamoshi, and Hazel. How would we like to proceed? So, 
Um, I know Hazel and Tessie were going to talk to the, uh, the stable person. Okay, yep. Let me go ahead and open up the stable for you. One sec here. Ba-doom. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Mark. You find Mert. So as you and Tess venture into the stables, you find a young man, maybe 12 or 13, who is scooping out the stables. <laughs> you can guess what he's scooping. But he doesn't seem super thrilled, however... It's also not a great job. How would you like to proceed? Um. How many, uh, how many animals are in here? So you do see that there is currently just the one horse in the state. Well, I guess there's the two horses in the state. I also didn't see the brown one there. <laughs> you can see that there's two horses in the stable at this point in time, but the rest do seem empty. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to walk up to Eric and motion Tessie over. To... Um. Merc did I say Merrick or Merck? Merck? He did. He said Merrick. That's okay. Ah, uh, Merck. You know what I mean. Merck lifts his head as you approach and says, uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, really quickly, Tessie wants to know if Speak With Animals takes a spell slot to use. Depends. Are you... Uh, let me look at your character sheet. If you have it as something you can ritually cast, then that would be a no, but it... If it not, then yes, it would be. Let's see. What do we have for your character sheet? I don't know. I don't... I'm looking up Tessa's character <laughs> sheet. You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Woof. Okay, so Tess, you actually do have it as a ritual cast. So instead of using a spell slot, you can basically just, it says to take 10 minutes to, you know, set up just a, a, a vocal ritual to speak with animals. Uh, since we're out of combat, the timing doesn't really matter too much. This is also pretty low stakes currently. Um, so, you know, you can take the time to ca ritually cast speak with animals on yourself. And now you, you can talk to the local animals. All right. So, um, Tessie, do you want to talk with the animals first or shall I talk with Mark first? staring, waiting for a response. <laughs> All good. I think we should ask the stable hand before I go talking to his animals, my dear. Alright. Woof! Mark, hello! How are you doing on this fine evening? Uh, Mark, smiles and said, I am doing quite well. Uh, aside from having to sling dung out of the stables and all, uh, but is there anything I can do for you? So, um, uh, my good friend Tessie and I were just here looking for some information. How long have these horses been here in town? 
Oh, oh, they, these are the locals. Um, they do belong to uh, a couple of local, the local merchants. Uh, Mr. Big Ring uh, owns the black one, and uh, Miss Kerwin owns the, the brown one here, respectively. <laughs> uh, you can tell that though he's pretty like he wants to be helpful uh he kind of takes his time as he speaks he doesn't seem to be like the most intelligent of people mm. for lack of a better word like he like he's kind and helpful but seems to be lacking in a lot of knowledge how long have um have they been around oh well, they've been around since before I was born. Uh, they, they, obviously, you know, they, they set up their shops. Um, I've, I've known both of them my whole life. I, in fact, I've also known uh, Miss Matildas and and our mayor for for a long time. Oh, but I, I'll tell you, our our mayor is the the best. Uh, he loves to give me candy every once in a while and you know I'll, I'll I'll brush his horse a little extra or I'll do some chores for him and he he's always been the best to me and I uh, but I hesitate to say it I'm not gonna say it I'm not gonna say it <laughs> oh Uh, Tessie says, you don't mind if I have a word with the... What is that word? The equines. The equines. Yeah. Or the equines. The fuck the is that? Horses. It's, it's the horses. It's, it's a, a horse. horse. I only know that because of My Little Pony, might I add. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> yes, you can talk to the horses. I mean, you are a bird, so maybe you guys have the same. Like, talk to each other. Sure, what? I talk to horses, I guess. Like, he, he seems a little confused, but at the same time, not super surprised considering he's talking to essentially a a, a dog and a bird. <laughs> uh, both of which he has not seen really in his life. Like, he's mostly just seen humanoids and other humanoids. Uh, but not not really too much on dog folk or bird folk. Y'all aren't too common. Birds uh, of a feather, one might say. <laughs> uh, yes, I guess, I guess you can talk to them. Um, Tess, how would you like to proceed with that? I would like to start by uh, uh, start with the brown house house horse. Good evening, my friend. Might I say your coat is looking lovely? The the best horse that I can muster. Uh, the horse response. <coughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I do keep it rather great. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking British approach it. The hell is that? <laughs> That's my goddamn horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I am quite like a really big old tycoon with a top hat and a fucking monocle. <laughs> it, it sounds uh, sounds like the the dog from 101 Dalmatians, the like oh, original do, yeah. cartoon. Which one? There's 101 of them. <laughs> the one with the horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do say, I keep a fine coat. And what can I do for you, my feathered friend? I can tell, my friend. I may have to ask you for some tips, <laughs> though I have some more important questions to ask, if I may. Well, go for it. How can I be of service? Now you're starting to sound like a Mr. Topham hat. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Tessie, you are a very useful engine. <laughs> Fun fact, um, Ringo from the Pools, I believe it was, was a narrator for, like, the original model train, Thomas. Fun fact of the day. Wasn't just a pretty face that sings. <laughs> Am I correct in saying you work alongside a merchant in town? Oh, why, yes, I do. A uh, Sir Adel Biggery. Him and his fair lady. I have served the majority of my life. Sounds like a very proud profession. If I may ask, I don't suppose you have seen any kind of mysterious jump in income to say to any merchants in town? Well, I don't really pay attention to the comings and goings. Uh, Sir Adel and his fair lady do seem to be doing quite well for themselves, but nothing super changed as of late. Uh, I can say, however, Sir Ardell and his fair lady have been, I wouldn't say bickering, but they have been a bit more concerned with the whispers of increased something or other. Uh, I normally don't pay attention. I just eat my hay and drink. 
my water as a proper equine should. Understandable, you must live quite the life. I do. You do indeed. Is there anything else I can ask from you this evening, young bird? <laughs> All right. Well, you enjoy your evening. Okay. I suppose you'll want to interrogate the gray horse. <laughs> you must make me change up my voices terrible fiends you too my friend now I would like to move on to the gray horse the gray horse <laughs> just looks up right into your eyes Tess and says this guy is a pretentious asshole having to live <laughs> next to him my entire life or at least the majority of my life has been just awful. And if you expect to get more out of me, I can't say that there is much I can provide. having conversations in your little player chat. None of your business. <laughs> oh, I'm just putting this out there. I hope y'all are can... having fun conversations. And I was assuming I you could hear me typing away. <laughs> no, this is just me having eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm plotting. Good. <laughs> I want the plot. I want all of you to to think and do and, and act upon those things that you think are going on, but might not be going on. Big dog, you're up. Oh god, what what's going on? You gotta read for Tess. Oh god, hold on. I was looking at the player chat. I was actually <laughs> going to type something in there, but fine. Uh well, you didn't hear it from me, but I really don't get along with the high and mighty types myself. I assume you heard my questioning of the other fellow then. But if I may just confirm uh, you, if confirm with you, if you had seen any sudden changes in the wealth of any merchants in town, I'm gonna have to hire a handler. What do you mean? What do you so mean? So to answer your question, no, I have not seen any changes lately. In fact, 
My master, Miss Kerwin, has actually been rather poor lately. Um, she has not received quite as much business, to my knowledge, that she otherwise should have received. Yeah. Can you, can you reset your thing? Yep, I'm on it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You gotta tell me, otherwise the thing doesn't... Uh, otherwise I don't do the thing. That's what I just did. It was just starting to I do the did thing. I done did it. Done diddly did it. You had to undo on the thing. devices i mean i love all of my children <laughs> you have to i want to see all of you succeed I would like to flute the pig. What pig? There's a pig? Can I roll to flute the pig? What are you doing to a pig? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Handler. Read up. Oh god, hold on. Uh, you said your master has been suffering in sales lately. I don't suppose you might have noticed if people simply stopped buying or if your master has been lacking in product? Oh, that, my darling, I would have no idea. You would have to go ask the, ma the master yourself. Uh, who's his master? Again? Morwa Kerwin. I don't see them in the tavern. Well, then they might not be in the tavern. Oh. <laughs> They're probably in the shop. Or in their shop. A shop? Somewhere. They're what? somewhere. We know they're somewhere. Or they're dead. In which case, they're not somewhere. Actually, they could be somewhere if they're dead. What if they were the friends we made along the way? <laughs> Very well. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope you enjoy your day. Why, thank you. And to you as well. And the horse goes back to eating. Um, so could we perhaps have the names of the mer merchants written down? Because I'm bad with names. Yeah, let me put it in the chat. Here for so Ardo, Ardo Bigring is the owner of the brown horse. He's in the tavern. And then I forgot the other one. Morwa Kerwin. Morwa Kerwin. Kerwin. Mora will occur in. All right. Um, I mean, we should also include Varus and Yamoshi. Would there be anything you would like to do while you're in the tavern? Uh, Yamoshi, go I'm ahead. I'm going to ask Bertha what kind of shops and so stuff is. 
Sorry, I was just letting you know it was Betha. Whatever. Betha Matildas. Oh, well, we do have uh, Mr. Big Ring. He's more of a general merchant. We don't really have a like, specialty here. Um, though, Miss Kerwin does somewhat specialize. Um, so, she's more of a clothier. Um, somebody who would be more just men's and tailors are clothing for the most part although she does you know some other textiles she, yeah she's she's basically our textile merchant for the town and you can also find the textile merchant in the uh, furthest building from where I am, uh, from the from the inn, so to speak, to the left. Uh, directly next to us, on the opposite of the stables, is Mr. Big Rings, both his house and his, his merchant shop, and next to that is Miss Kerbin's shop. Uh, what about the buildings across the way from those two shops? For those, I believe, uh, that, uh, those are just houses to be. I mean, they're they're really just for people to buy and live in. They're really not quite, to my knowledge, uh, the last people who lived there. Just to give you an idea, they were just they were servants of the mayor. However, due to you know the situation that's been ongoing, those. Individuals have since left the town, um, and I, you know, I know they're not dead, but I did see them, you know, pack up their their horse and and they left. So they are currently empty or and or vacant. Mm. <laughs> Varus, anything from you? Yeah. Um, so, Betha, what... I mean, you stated the mayor is changing, like, his demeanor and, and everything. He's trying to implement a new tax. Um, what made you reach out to Elias? So the biggest thing that I noticed is that there was one day in particular that the mayor seemed incredibly distraught. So distraught that our stable hen, Murr, when he went for his regular visit, he seemed angry that Merc was there and this I thought it was just kind of like a one-off you know maybe he was just having a bad day but it's been more and more like something unusual I can't really put it at the tip of my tongue I I can't I wouldn't say possessed but maybe let's say he just seems off and i have known this man for decades mind you so i am no stranger to the mayor he's and and i say he seems off he is off which is so why his patterns and, and exactly and what he usually did is now changing yes exactly and i know it's not something to do with you know just your average town politics no his whole personality has shifted it's like he's becoming a, a different person altogether 
And have what you, I, I mean, I, obviously you don't follow him all the time. Like you right. have a business to run. Of course. But uh, have you seen him heading to places that he would never usually go? No, not in particular. Um, or or, he has or seemed going to want places to see. alone when he usually is with his daughter or his guards. You know, he from what I can tell, the only thing that I that's been more different is he has been spending more time in the manor. He hasn't exactly been you know, oh, I don't know. He he used to come out more. He used to interact. He he would come over to the the inn and the you know, we would chat it up for hours and we would all have a fun time. And we would all participate, but but lately he has been cooped up in his in his a mansion, his manor, whatever from weeks upon end. Like I it's hard for me to explain, but he is very much wanting to either keep to himself. Again, this is also why I wanted somebody to investigate. Because not only, you know, it's the, it's the personality changes. It's the feel that you get when you're just around him. Something feels off. So I I can't help but notice you you haven't mentioned a uh, a mother for Rose or a wife. Oh yes, dear Rose's mother. She she passed away during childbirth. And you know, I don't really have a strong recollection of her. Um because I really didn't know her for that long. But what little I do know is that she seemed to be a, a, a somewhat kind woman, but I can't say too much about it just because I don't know. But she, so she wasn't from here. Correct. No. Um, the the mayor had met her, you know, a long time ago, and. They had rekindled their relationship upon a visit that she had, you know, obviously maybe about 12 years ago. I didn't really meet her for too long before she got pregnant and delivered the baby, and then she was gone. Okay. So... Do you know much about the manor? Is it, uh, I mean, obviously it's rather large. Is there, you know, a cellar, a basement, anything like that? Anything that uh, the yes. majority of people wouldn't see? I imagine there would be quite a basement, yes, to hold the various goods and... I mean, yeah, the time were, were you not time. here? How, how long has the the mansion been here? The the manor. Oh, it's it before been, your time. It was before my time. I mean, I've I've had my tavern here for the past forty years, but the the town itself has existed for about a hundred uh, so or so. So, you know, it's but it was here a little bit before I was, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, you know, I, I usually, when I did visit the manor, I would stick mate to the main floor uh, or the dining area. And, you know, I didn't really care to see the rest of the house. Okay. What's, uh, so we have the stables here next to us. What's those buildings off to the uh, side of the manor there? Oh, those are the ones where I was saying that those are the vacant homes. Off to the vacant left. Vacant homes. Yeah, so those are the ones where these ones over here, right? And and we just always have lights lit in vacant homes. More or less. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a traveling town. Just makes it more homey. 
It, yes, in okay. a sense. Okay. Yes, it's just a nice place to. Yeah, you know, we want to make sure that everything stays lit, and we don't want robbers because we do get a lot of people traveling through the main road, uh, through town quite often. Um, mostly during the day, but you know we do get some travelers through at night. Uh, we prefer to have things lit. Okay, and what time is it right now? Uh, in game, we are looking at probably maybe nine. Nine or ten in the evening. Like, it's... It's getting there. Like, it's dark, but it's not, like, midnight. Mm, okay. So, uh, if I went to take a stroll, you know, gather up my friends maybe in a in an hour or so, would there be potential of a, a hot meal here? Of course, dear. We always have a hot meal ready for you. Uh, it does All cost... Right. You know, since you are helping me, I will give you each a, a discount. We'll say that it's five silver per person if you want to stay. And that five silver will get you both a room and a hot meal in the evening and the morning. Okay. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go take a little uh, gander around town. All right, Yamoshi, anything you would like to do, Hazel or Tess? I'm going to go over here and talk to these people. Oh, goody. Okay. Anybody in particular you'd like to speak with? I'm just going to be like a general question for everybody. Like, uh, I'm going to ask. If they've noticed anything strange going on in town, like any kind of different, other than what we've known about how the mayor's been acting, but is there anything suspicious you think is going on? So, out of the uh, patrons of the tavern, Ardell speaks up and says, in a somewhat drunken tone, y yes, there is something awry. My business has not been doing nearly as good as it ought to have done. But my my friend, my my lizard dragon looking friend, you are new here. Might you come over to? my shop and view my wares perhaps you and your companions could purchase something for me to to keep the roof over our heads <clears throat> possibly but for now i do have a couple more questions sure <laughs> how can i help you has have you seen anybody kind of in and out, coming in and out of or around the vacant property next to the manor? No one in particular? Something I, I, I wanted to to point out as it kind of hiccups through is when I f first moved here there didn't used to be guards around the manor. That's kind of new. And have, have there been any kind of attacks or something uh, that would cause the guards to come or the mayor to start having guards? My 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 boy. Uh <clears throat> my boy. Um I don't believe we've had any attacks here lately, but it is s strange that that there have been guards there these last few months. Really, like they they they're new. I'm I'm surprised they are there. And he kind of trails off into just gibberish. Because he's, he's very <laughs> drunk at this point. <laughs> I 
uh, Liam look over at the rest of the people and kind of you know re ask the question if any of them have seen anything other than the man who is currently passing out drunk <laughs> Liam does speak up says uh, you can kind of excuse Ardell. He's uh, he's gone through some tough times, but you know I would I would definitely recommend visiting him if you could. Uh, might lift his spirits, but uh, he was not wrong. Uh, we I did notice that there has been an increase of guards lately at the manor, um, but aside from that, everything uh, somewhat normal. I mean. I haven't really noticed too much. And kind of Cora, Ember, Rudy, they all they all kind of agree. It's like, yeah, no, it's it's been pretty normal as of late. Uh Liam speaks up again. Though there's one thing that I am not too thrilled of and may actually make me want to leave here, and that is the the tax. Baron tax. Half. He wants half of all of our goods, all of our gold, our silver, our livestock. He wants enough over my dead body. And he's it here seems a group kind of, around the table. Go here, here. That seems kind of a lot. Uh, have any of you seen anyone <clears throat> like suspicious coming in and out of the manor or has the mayor had anyone come visit recently no not not recently um though if you have questions about the mayor you could either ask bertha she's known him for years or i mean murk hangs around the the lad in the stables he he hangs around the, the mayor quite a bit. Or you could just ask the mayor or his daughter. <laughs> but there's... You know, so it's a, we're, we're usually... We're, we're a pretty small town. There's not too much going on. Just people complaining about taxes and guards. Nothing really out of the ordinary, I would say. Well, alright. Thank you for asking my question. Of course. Now, is there anything else anybody would like to ask before we end the session tonight? No. No. Okay, because it's about 11.30, and I we'll know... It go by this... so fast. It does go by so fast, and I know this seems like it's Four a little hours. slow, but I've been trying to lay some hints down for you people, but with that... Just a faint change of pace. Exactly, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, that's why I said one of the preface that not every encounter is going to be a hardened battle encounter. That was kind uh, of nice. But yes, I want all of you to kind of think about the conversations that went on and how things might turn out next time. But with that, all of y'all have a good evening, and I will talk to you next week. All right, good night. I am definitely going to have to go off and like rewatch. My stream because I zoned out and uh, okay. I know I missed happens. part of it, which it's is actually right, also happens. why I decided to stream this. I'm glad but you yeah. did because I I'll I'll watch parts of it as well and <laughs> kind of like see the things that I forgot. <laughs> kind of like note taking for all of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so note -taking. <laughs> I should really like take them and just upload them in like an unlisted um unlisted like uh YouTube. playlist yeah youtube playlist so that way we can go back and look at it not a bad i idea. would love that that would be really nice um i great. i will go off and uh start doing that now then all right Sounds good. Well, have a good night Good night. Good Thank night. you. Night. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Hello.
Oh, hello, Tanuki. Hello. Oh, you are really massive in the middle of my screen. Um, okay, let me go off and do my ending stuff uh, while I find someone to raid. Oh, yeah, you were using the Fujitech models, right? Mm. So I just... So I just grew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you left uh, me big. I'm still just big in the middle of your screen. Yeah, you're just big in the middle. <laughs> Love you too, Mama. Have a good rest of your night. No, no, Mama. I'm really not. You know what? We'll raid Turtle Divas. Have a good night. All right. We are going to be raiding Turtle Divas. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to follow. And join the Discord. The link is now in the chat. Um, we are raiding Turtle Divas. Um, so, as always, remember to be kind and courteous to the streamer and their community. And, yeah, if you are a subscriber to the channel, here is your raid call. If you are a follower of the channel, here is your raid call. Um... Make sure to get those copied down. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow for some Portal 2 with Kanoka. And yeah, I think that pretty much wraps things up. Right, Tanuki? Anything I should be adding? I don't think so. All right. I can't wait for next week. I love how you still have my model like <laughs> up here, even though I never talk <laughs> during the D and D session. <laughs> I mean, it's just easier to have the. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. So until next time, peace out, home dogs. Bye bye. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Close <laughs> it. Close it. Yeah, I know. So I was running back to the oh. ship and I saw that thing. <laughs> um, I thought you might have been dead. I couldn't answer straight away because these are the things that hear you. So we should probably stop talking, otherwise it's never gonna go away.